Dear Goinkans, this video lecture is in continuation with chapter 26, Things Around Us, which is on page number 129 of your EVS textbook. So take out your EVS textbooks and open page number 129. In today's video lecture, we'll learn about the interchanging states of water and we'll discuss about the physical and chemical chains. Dear Goinkans, matter is found in three states solid, liquid and gas. As you all know that water is matter, it also exists in three different states that is solid, liquid or gas. Water can change its state on heating or cooling. In all cases, the nature of water molecule remains the same, only the arrangement of water molecules change. Now let us learn about the effect of heating and cooling on states of water. Heating. When ice or solid water is heated, it gets converted to liquid. This is called melting. When liquid is heated for a long time, it boils and gets converted into water vapor or steam. This is called evaporation. Now, cooling. When water vapor present in air comes in contact with cool surface, it changes into liquid. This is called condensation. When liquid water is cooled in freezer, it becomes ice. This cooling a liquid can turn it into a solid. This is called freezing. Dear Goinkans, now let us learn about physical and chemical changes. What is physical change? A change in which nature of molecules of a substance does not cha change and no new substance is formed is called physical change. Dear Goinkans, now let us learn about physical and chemical chains. What is physical change? A change in which nature of molecules of a substance does not change and no new substance is formed is called physical change. A physical change affects only physical properties that is shape, size, etc. The mass of a substance does not alter in a physical change. Example. The change in state of water into ice or steam. Cutting a paper into pieces. Now, what is chemical change? A change in which the nature of the molecule of the substance changes and a new substance is formed is called a chemical change. Chemical change affects both physical and chemical properties of the substance. The mass of the substance does not alter in a chemical change. Examples, formation of curd from milk, baking of cake, burning of paper, rusting of iron. Now, let us learn about rusting of iron. So, what is rust? Rust is a reddish brown coating formed on iron or steel. Rusting occurs when iron is exposed to oxygen in air and water. In areas that have higher humidity, the rusting process takes place faster as the content of moisture in the air is higher. This process of rust formation in presence of oxygen and water or water vapor is called rusting. So this was all about interchanging states of water and physical and chemical chains. I hope you all understood it. Thank you.